Oh, sweet Jesus in the morning. Again with these people? As much as I love the movies that I make, those aren't the movies I dream about making because I can make them, you know, so you don't have to dream about making them. But I dream about making movies like Quentin Tarantino's movies or the Coen Brothers movies and stuff like that. And so Red State was a, kind of me trying to do one of those, me trying to do a Quentin Tarantino movie by way of the Coen Brothers, you know, just to see if I could pull it off. Give me the horn. This is Special Agent Joseph Keenan of the ATF. We're here to execute a search warrant on the premises on suspicion of violation of the National Firearms Act. Those elements inform, like Waco and the Westboro Baptist Church, definitely inform this movie. And oddly enough, it's about it and not about it at all. It's kind of, um, you use the landscape, the American landscape, to kind of tell your story. Put down any weapons. Come out with your hands up and you will not be harmed. Repeat, you will not be harmed. I'll chiefly remember Red State because that's what I've been doing so much for the last year, and it was so all-inclusive of everything that I've learned and been doing for the last nearly 20 years, not just filmmaking, but then standing up there and talking about filmmaking with the Q&As and whatnot, going out on the road, selling it myself. That was kind of like me putting everything I've learned in filmmaking to bear in one movie. Now learn ye the parable of a fig tree. Yes, this is Matthew 24. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaf. Now this summer is now. I used to call it the adult movie. I was like, one day I'm going to make an adult movie. And then people were like, that's porn, you idiot. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna, one day I'm going to make a grown-up movie. And Red State is kind of our grown-up movie. Yeah, baby. Looks like summer's about as nice as ever we get. 